FeedMax loaders safely convey the plastic resins. This product range includes single loaders and central conveying systems. The Teach Box simplifies the control and administration of all material handling components. This guarantees maximum flexibility. Innovative solutions guarantee the highest functionality, like the RFID coated coupling station that ensures the correct selection and supply of resins to the molding machines. The modern network control system allows central visualization and control, including internet connectivity. Here we have one of Whitman's FeedMax S3 single loaders, and today I'm going to go over how to operate this unit, give you important terminology to remember, and give you basic loader knowledge that the user should know when using this device. You can power on this device using the device switch, which is found on the right hand side of the control box. Afterwards, press the on and off button to switch the device on. Unlike the S3 power up, the Primus material loader has its own power switch here, and the knob located on the right hand side is used in adjusting the conveying time. Turning the knob as far as it goes is approximately one minute of conveying time, just to give you guys an understanding of how far you should twist it. With the S3 loader you can adjust the feed time within the first menu. This symbol will be illuminated during the material feed time. Next, when you make your way to menu 2, you have the ability to adjust the evacuation time. Evacuation of the material line is available in conjunction with an evacuation valve or a controlled evacuation box. This symbol is illuminated during the evacuation of the feed line. Then within the third menu you can adjust the feed brake. This menu would be ideal to use when pulling from a granulator or filling a bin that doesn't get full all the time. The symbol is illuminated during the scheduled feed brake. Next we will make our way to menu 4 which is responsible for changing the dosing quantity. A dosing quantity can only be set if a dosing valve is available. The symbol is illuminated during the feeding of material B. Then dosing changes can be adjusted within menu 5. Like menu 4, dosing changes can only be set if a dosing valve is available. It is possible to set the number of feed changes of material A to material B. We recommend customers get this optional attachment because if the dosing valve is available, material B is only dosed if the material B sensor identifies the presence of material. With this being said, if there is no material B, then only material A will be supplied. And lastly, menu 6 is the keyboard lock. This screen shows numbers 1, 2, 3 in the display. Starting from the menu, the key lock can be either activated or deactivated. You can lock the keys by getting to code 150 or unlock them at code 153. Set your command by pressing the power button. With code 120, you have the option of changing a lot of different functions. Two points I would like to emphasize are parameters C3 and C10. With C3, you have the ability to change the maximum number of failed loading cycles before indication of an error. This feature helps to identify a problem with the device to avoid delays in production from missed loading cycles of plastic resin. With parameter C10, you can adjust the startup counter for new loading cycles. Get to code 121 to adjust several other functions of your device, which will be found in your operating manual. If an error pops up on your screen, you can clear this error by pressing the up and down buttons at the same time. Make sure to note these errors along the way to make it easier to acknowledge the problem if one of our service technicians is needed for help. Three important errors I would like to bring up are errors 1, 3, and 9. Error 1 shows that there is a general cycle error dealing with the time allotted to convey the material. Error 3 shows that there is no material being conveyed. This feature is adjusted within code 120 with parameters C3 and C10 like I showed earlier. Now if error 9 pops up, it is a signal that your motor has reached 900 operational hours. This error indicates that your motor brushes will need to be checked and possibly replaced. After inspecting and or changing the motor brushes, the operating hour counter has to be set to zero. With the newer units, this can be done by getting to code menu 125 and pressing the on and off button. If done correctly, the letters CLR should be displayed on the front screen. With the older units, you'll need to see operating hour counter instructions. Here's a quick demonstration to show how easy it is to change out the brushes in this unit. 
Make sure the device is completely powered down before following these steps. Once the three screws are taken out of the top cover, you can access the inside of this loader. Now I will unscrew these two nuts from the black motor cover. After this step has been completed, you will get a flat head to remove this cord. You can now examine this piece and determine if it needs to be replaced or not. Follow the same procedure when removing the brush from the other side. Afterwards, place the old or new brush in its position. Reinsert this cord. Insert the screws and at this point your unit is good to go. Lastly, you would want to go back in and set the operating hour counter back to zero. Another demonstration I would like to show you guys is how easy it is to clean and change out your filter elements. Again, please make sure the device is completely powered down before following these steps. For acquiring a new filter, it's as easy as just picking it up and switching it out with a new one. You can also use compressed air to clean the filter element located at the bottom of the unit, like so. So this pretty much sums up everything you need to know when operating this unit. Make sure to press the on and off button prior to switching the power off. These instructions will help to understand how to operate your control panel. And to find more information on the unit, please take a look at either our operating manual or our training manual. And if necessary, our service technicians are always available and ready to answer your call.